The Chosen fans are angry at Dallas Jenkins again because they think the director's social media account promotes anti-Christian content. Let's look at the details without further ado. This all started with Dallas's Instagram post where he joked about going to Target. The post said, if you're ever lonely and wish people would approach you to talk, just wear a red shirt and go to Target. I'm not going to explain the joke to you as I know many of you would know wearing red to Target is a bad idea. What caught my attention was many comments under this post accusing Dallas of encouraging people to go to Target. If you haven't heard already, Target's popularity is on the down low after the brand started to sell LGBTQ merchandise. Many Christians started to boycott the store because they thought Target was indoctrinating children with anti-Christian ideas. So Dallas sharing something about going to Target made some people furious because they believe someone responsible for creating a Christian show like The Chosen shouldn't support stores that approve of anti-Christian ideals. The anger increased even more when Dallas posted this on his Instagram page the other day. It was a list of his favorite Disney movies. I can't even begin to talk about how putting Beauty and the Beast at number one is a major crime, but that's not the subject of this video today. While some people started to argue about the wrongs of the list, others had a problem with Dallas sharing something about Disney. Some comments claimed the people who run Disney are evil. Some others said the company promotes anti-Christian demonic agendas. Some also commented about the company's hidden messages in its movies, which help groom children. I'm guessing this has to do with Disney's inclusion of gay characters in its recent movies. Zootopia, for example, was the first Disney movie to include a gay couple. Disney's Onward was even censored in certain countries due to anti-gay legislation because it featured a lesbian character. Still, the overwhelming anger towards Dallas must be attributed to the recent Pride Flag controversy that started on the chosen set. Fans did not like that one bit. But people expect many things from Dallas and the chosen in general. Some even commented how the show should not be on platforms like Netflix. But I feel like people have unrealistic expectations. In today's world, Making a TV show where every worker and distributor is entirely on board with the Christian doctrine is impossible. If The Chosen is on platforms like Netflix or Amazon Prime, it will have a wider audience. Which means the show's message will be spread to more people. I don't think people outside the Christian community will download The Chosen app to watch the show. But they might give it a chance if they see it on Netflix. Isn't that good for Christianity? Why not be happy that they included The Chosen in their platforms? Isn't that a step in the right direction? We should also remember that Dallas is American, and companies like Disney and Target are significant parts of the American culture. It's almost impossible to avoid them on a regular day basis. Some may argue that Dallas is trying to spur controversy and keep himself popular, but I don't think that's the case. He is just an American who grew up watching Disney films and who can feel nostalgic about the beauty of the older Disney films. It's not a wonder that people still praise the Disney movies they used to enjoy back in the day. Why can't Dallas, without fearing to get criticism, do the same thing? We should stop expecting almost profit like perfection from people working on The Chosen. The real world doesn't work like that. What do you think about this subject? Do you think Dallas is doing wrong things that affect the image and message of The Chosen? Tell me in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to next season for more videos like this. See you soon.